chance. I have for you today. I'm basically going to ask you if you know somebody before you even finish asking me anything. Okay. I don't know. What about you? I don't know. When you start answering questions, I don't know, I don't know. You make me suspicious. I'm living on this. So you like to see? None of us have any time. I think the crowd stop with Ted was saying it lists him uh, as a suspect, but we don't have anybody put in there or, you know, anything else, so. We've got three people we're looking for. Just so you can see. <laughs> Without solid evidence linking Tone to the murder, detectives are forced to let him go. Well, we know he's lying, but there's just not anything we can do about it. At least not yet. So. With time running out, Edward Stanley, the only surviving victim, is finally out of surgery. Mullins heads to the hospital, hoping that Edward knows who killed his brother and his friend. I know he's in bad shape, but I need him to give us something. Two hours later. Please tell me you guys are good. See you again. Stars on this side. Please tell you guys are okay. Strikes on this side. We have a little help. She is in such a fragile state. He is not paralyzed, but he is fighting that issue. And any sudden move could do it. What is he saying, Helen? Edward says one of the victims, his brother Cedric, was no, arguing with the two suspects. Uh, Edward won't say what it is they're arguing over, but he said that Cedric called these guys, found out where they were, and they drove over there. And when they get there, they pull up in the car, they start talking, they start arguing, and then boom, 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 boom all the shooting starts. He yeah, says man. they didn't have any guns in the car, Look at that. and uh, he doesn't know why they were shooting. Looks like a soldier jacket. But he says he will know these guys if he sees their face. He said, you show me as many pictures as you want to, because I'll never forget them. And they did say... That reminds that me of a uh, cell phone right beforehand. Civil War the phone now? type of thing. Find me that telephone. Mm -hmm. there. These things, love them. In Miami, detectives Carlos Castellanos and Manny Castillo Back are working in the case of Julio Gaetan, shot dead. And and he looks to be a religious guy. Seventeen it's hours into the first forty-eight, they head back to the station with one potential lead: the victim's cell phone. This is silk, by the way. Silk. Castellano sorts the victim it. Julio Gaetan's um, papers found at the crime scene. Forever twenty-one. Looks like he's been in the uh, healthcare business this is from forever, uh, for a while. Yeah, forever twenty-one. As a medical accountant. He's got an MBA. He's a very educated Love man. Looks like a marching man or like a, a church civil war or something. He worked in Nicaragua with needy children. So yeah, that's the whole entire album I put together. Um, maybe somewhere oh, in these. Man. Like lace, lacy type oh, man, sneakers. You, this is, like this is lace. Life. With Castellanos and a personal the evaluation stuff. form that Julio filled out at a self help that group. Was it was in his briefcase. It. It's kind of like I a review it. of yourself. Listen. What do I see here? On. It says here marriage to a gay, death, HIV. Do not do my, my Catholic nails. church. Do not Homosexuality, do my prejudice. It says over here, I'm, I'm gay and I'm going to hell. Ignore that. I'm uh, currently watching 48 hours. Who knows what the purpose behind that person right. being inside of his 